Hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Mark's Hand Review. I'm Mark and today we are taking a look at a hand from the 100k free satellite tournament. This was played on February 11, 2020 and the blinds in this tournament are 2040 with no ante. And let's just jump right into it. We have Mio Weiser. I know I'm probably botching that name so I'm just going to call him Mio and in the small blind and we have K collector in the big blind so let's just jump right into it and let's take a look at the cards we have in this tournament so we are dealt here Jack King in early position and Jack King that's off suited so you know this is a good start hand especially at the start of a tournament because at the start of a tournament, you kind of like to try to build a big pot early, try to win, try to win a ton of chips so you can be ahead going forward in a tournament, and and I'll have that to your advantage later, being able to bluff with a big stack. And so I think we're probably going to end up raising here, since it's only the blinds are only twenty forty. So let's see what the preflop action is. Fold and let's see how much will I bet? 125. So yeah I think that's a pretty good bet in size this early on, you know. I don't think many people are gonna play that often. And I know my camera's covering it so let me see if I can move that. We have Brimstone there, but he folds, so I'm just going to move the camera back. Yeah, double nut and folds. Actions back over to Mio. And he calls. So let's take a look now. The board is 7 10 King Rainbow, so there's no chance of a flush here in this situation. And I think, you know, we pair our king, so we're in pretty good position. There's already 415 chips in the pot, which is good for us, because we have a pretty good, we have, our odds here are pretty good that we have the best hand, I think. So, I mean, Mio, he could be playing possibly sevens or kings. No, not sevens or tens, excuse me. And pick per. He, not sure what he could possibly play in. Maybe something like King 10 maybe, but I don't know. If, I think if you have anything like King 10 or above, you should be raising early, especially here in early stages of tournaments. So let's take a look and see what happens. And I think we're going to have to bet this flop, try and get more value for our chip stack. See if we can get more value. See how it checks to me, so we should be betting here pretty aggressively. All right, we have a 200 chip bet. Pretty good with the pot being 415. Uh, so I don't think that many other players you know, check to me, they check, they check the action to me, so with Mio, I don't think he has a great hand, I mean, with only, I mean, there's no chance of a flush, possibly a straight maybe, maybe that's what he's going after, and pick per, I'm not sure what, but he could possibly be playing. So we bet 200. Let's see if we can just win the pot here. So pick folds. The action's back over to Mio. Now, that's interesting. He calls a 200 chip bet. And now uh, this gets even more interesting for us. Because now we have two pair, kings and jacks. With 815 in the pot. So he could maybe be chasing a straight nine to king maybe, but I really don't know what else 
you could be going after with maybe a 10s or 7s or maybe who knows um maybe something like 10 queen maybe but open the hit hit on the river so let's see what he does here going to the river taking some time to set see now I don't think that's a good bet just bet in a big blind he only bets 40 so this gives us a pretty good you know opening here to bet out more try to win the pot outright because I think if he has any legitimate hand he's going to be betting more than a big blind so I think we're going to be aggressive betting on this you know since the turn card is a jack and now we have two pair we're going to be betting at least I think 400 I hope this can't remember <laughs> So let's see. Oh wow, it's only at 225 rays. So let's see what he does. I mean, I think the reason we bet 225 there is because we're just trying to get even more value for our hand. So let's see if he wants to continue this onto the river. There's already 1,080 chips here in the pot, so let's see what he decides to do. It, well, he calls the 200, what was it, 225? I can't remember. But anyway, he calls it. So now there's 1,265 chips in the pot with a five, on, five of spades in the river. I don't really think that will be helping him that much. And, you know, he, again, he only betted a big blind, so, hmm. I mean, maybe if he was chasing a straight knight to king, on, that's what comes at the top of my head with this board. So, let's see what he does here. He checks to me. So now I think there's going to be bet aggressively here on the river. So, hopefully now at this point I do bet about 400 at least, maybe even more than that. I'm trying to bet enough that we can get value on the river but not scare him away. So, let's see how much I decide to bet after here. Alright, 300 chip. I mean, again, you don't want to scare him off. So, let's see if Neo decides to get aggressive here and maybe re-raise, but the way his the way he played this hand out so far, this doesn't make sense for him to raise. He only bet he's been checking me and only bet once and that was only a big blind, so let's see what he does. Thinking about it, thinking about calling it. But now he just folds. So that Certainly was interesting. I think he was chasing. Maybe he had a pair of, of sevens or tens on a flop. Um, trying to chase after a straight or, or you know. Just didn't play this hand well enough in my opinion. So we take home the pot of 1,565 chips. And that, that's a good start for us going forward later into this tournament, trying to build up, as I said, trying to build our chip stack, and, you know, so, with a bigger chip stack, we have more opportunities to bluff later on in this tournament, and it's always good to win a tournament, I mean, I win a hand early, in the early stages of a tournament, I should say, so, I think that is just about gonna do it for this episode of Mark Fan Review, if you did enjoy the video, please, Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I'm hoping to be able to do more of these episodes going forward. I know I haven't been able to do these in a while. So I'm hoping now that I can record even more episodes of Mark's Hand Review. And 
post them more frequently. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for now, and I'll see you later.